When I first started using Kool-Aid as an art medium, I didn't know what to expect. This is Life in Art. I'm Dawn Okoro and I'm an artist. I'm really excited because right now I have a solo show going on. It's with Copland Del Rio Gallery and the show is on Artsy and it's called Stir It. And all the work is made out of color pencil, ink, and Kool-Aid. And I'm gonna put a link to the show under this under this video. So if you'd like to, um, you can check it out on Artsy. I've been working with Copland Del Rio since the fall of 2020. And that's when one of their artists, Robert Pruitt, curated me into a show that he was working on. And I showed um, like four drawings in, in that show. And that led to a, a good relationship with the gallery. And uh, now they're one of the galleries that, that represents my artwork. And they, they helped me put my work out there into the world. And it's been great working with them so far. This past summer, I experimented with Kool-Aid as paint. It's an idea that, that really started brewing early in the pandemic. At that time, I was seeking out comforting things like comforting foods and I wanted to incorporate that into my art. Now, if you're from outside of the US, um, you might not be familiar with it, but Kool-Aid is a really popular drink here, or at least it's been very popular in past decades. I don't know about its popularity now, but it's a, a fruity drink that comes in these little 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 packets. It's packets of powder, and um, you pour, pour it in a pitcher, and you add water and sugar, and then stir it up, and then you have a drink. I have lots of memories of Drinking Kool-Aid with, with meals as a child. I can just imagine the smell, the sound that the spoon makes um, when you stir, stir in the pitcher, the fruity, citrusy taste when it hits your tongue. When I first started using Kool-Aid as an art medium, I didn't know what to expect. But after I tested it out and actually painted it on paper, I really liked the results. I went into it using the Kool-Aid like watercolors, but the powder behaves differently from watercolors. The gray Kool-Aid was the most surprising to me because I expected it to be like a medium purple, um, but it was really, really deep, almost like black. My favorite part of the results are the dark speckles of color that are left on the paper, and, and that comes from not fully mixing the powder. I'm just happy to be trying something new, and I'm glad that this actually worked. People have asked me if this art smells like Kool-Aid, and at first it does have a strong Kool-Aid smell, but after I put a protective coating on it, then that smell goes away. I have a question for those of you watching, um, especially you artists, have you made art out of a food item? And if so, how did it turn out? I post a lot of updates on my work on Instagram, and I'm at Dawn Okoro there, so be sure to follow me there, and also follow me on Twitter and TikTok. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow the channel. Thank you so much for watching Life and Art. I'm Dawn Okoro. See you next time.